Hey, scholars, I did want to expand a little bit on question six. And so if you're interested in pharmaceuticals or medicine, this is a little bit for you. Taking bases like this and reacting them with HCl to create these chloride salts is really one of the classic ways that drug manufacturers, pharmaceutical companies, can increase the solubility of these compounds in water. And so I'm not sure about the veracity of this particular website, but it does have good, correct information on it. And so this blog that supposedly is written by a pharmacist is talking about salt forms of medicine, what it means when you see HCl or hydrochloride or hydrogen chloride at the end of a molecule. And what it really means is what I've shown you in question six, which is where you've got a molecule that you've reacted with HCl, and that H from the HCl goes on one of the nitrogens. In this case, it doesn't really matter which one. And it causes this whole molecule to become a cation, and the chloride then is an anion. Not only does this have the effect of creating ionic attractions where there were none before and causing this to be a solid, but that also makes this molecule much more soluble in water because now it's a cation and will have ion dipole interactions with water molecules, whereas before it would have been limited to dipole dipole and some hydrogen bonding. But now it can have ion dipole as well as hydrogen bonding and dipole dipole. This particular molecule here is actually a medication used for type 2 diabetes, but there are multiple examples of this. I believe uh, medications, many medications and inhalers for asthma are hydrochloride salts or hydrogen chloride salts of the drug molecules. Reacting things with hydrogen chloride is also one of the ways that they can increase the solubility of opioids which contain nitrogen, which are used as painkillers. And so, again, really, this is not just interesting as an acid-base reaction, not just interesting because of how it changes the intermolecular forces and the physical state of this compound, but it's also important as an application because this is actually used as a way of increasing what's called the bioavailability of different kinds of drugs.